This is the men's class three gold medal match between Thomas Schmidtberger of Germany, who will be first onto the court, and Feng, Feng Panfeng of China, the defending champion, also won gold in Beijing, so he's looking for his third consecutive gold medal. But Schmidtberger is the world number one. He is, and he's looked very sharp coming through this. Hadn't uh, dropped a game until he got to the semi-finals and had to go to five against Florian Merian. So he's had a good workout in the semi-finals, but this should be an absolutely titanic clash between these two. This will be fantastic, yes. World number one against world number two. Quite fitting for a gold medal match, obviously. Absolutely. There's the 24-year-old. He is the world ranked number one. Had a team sil silver, a, a singles bronze, and up against a man who has two golds in the last two Paralympics and a team gold in London as well. So he knows what it is, and he's got a lot of support. There are quite a few German fans in the stands as well. Our umpire is Indian, he's Atal Dubey. athletes have met a number of times before um, it's always been Fen Han Feng who's uh, been the dominant more dominant player he's won 10 times out of 13 and he's only two years older at 26 three years more international experience and this is a class three clash so the wheelchair classifications go from one to five. One being athletes with the least amount of movement. This guy has struck me as being extremely confident and a very good temperament as well. Now the Chinese, we know what the Chinese can do in table tennis, both at the Olympics and the Paralympics. And it's just excellent to see this place filling up for this Session of medals. Five hard matches for these guys to get through. Guaranteed a medal, of course. Just a question of what colour it's going to be. Well, it's a good position to be in, isn't it? Going into a match knowing you're guaranteed to leave with a medal. But of course, both of these guys will want that gold. Michael Duby is being assisted by Elena Semenova of Russia. And she is making sure there's no moisture on the table. The one thing players hate is moisture on the table. If they were to uh, wipe their hand to keep their hands dry, it's always right by the net, which doesn't really matter. A couple of minutes of warm up, then we get underway. Burger started at 14, such a prospect. This is the man. Let's go through his uh, medal cabinet. Two golds in singles, a team gold, a bronze in Beijing in the team, two times gold medalist at the World Championships. So uh, Schmidt Berger knows, oh, look at that, to love all the way through until he met the Frenchman in the semi finals. He has looked 
in ominous form, it has to be said. Having said that, you'd never write off the man across the table, Fen Pan Feng. Been playing 17 years now, and he has conceded just the same amount of games as well, although spread over the quarterfinal and the semi-final. So you'd be a brave person to call this one. Well, what we do know is that it's going to be an absolutely fantastic match. It'll be fascinating to see who can come out on top of this battle. Jimmy Bilger and his coach have a very good relationship. Here we go then, the gold medal match in the Class 3 men's singles. Interesting that uh, Fen Pan Feng just trying to get that shot back into the body of Schmidtberger, not giving him enough space because he can really fling the backhands and the forehands and punish you. <laughs> little smile, looked at his coach. He won't be too concerned just yet. First point on the board for the German. Oh, there you go. That's the uh, the first expression of that lovely backhand. Do some damage. Schmidt Berger, when he gets going, and Fen Pan Feng will know this. Looking for a triple of golds here. Oh, yes. Lovely rally. Excellent placement in the wheelchair game, of course. Not just power and strength, but if you can place it out of the reach of your opponent. Oh, that is a happy result. Straight at the body. It's looking good, isn't he, Fenn? Backhand not finding its mark and Smith Berger, last occasions we've seen him on the feature courts, he's been looking very confident, but he's got a bit of a battle on here. Fire! Fire! Feng Pan Feng fired up and ask a few questions of the German. Better from Schmidberger. That's the game he likes to play. Good forehand. And he has to serve as well. A chance to get back into this first game.
And he's frustrated with himself. Schmidberger just got himself a little tangled up. Fen Pan Feng. Crossing this first game. Oh, and I think it just took a touch on the end of the table. It has, and it'll be six game points to take an early lead for Fen Pan Feng. Oh, it's wide. See what he's trying to do. Certainly would have been out of reach of the German. Beautifully done. Four minutes. That's all it took for the first game to go to Fenn. Bit of work to be done in the German camp. Schmidberger dropping the first game and uh, this game being suffocated really by Feng he's keeping him tucked up not allowing him to unleash his forehands and backhands across the table Schmidberger is going to have to try and stamp his authority on the game Feng with the advantage, a game up in this gold medal match in Class 3 in the men's singles. That's more like it, that's what he's looking to do. He uses powerful forehand and backhand. That's a brilliant point from Feng. No wonder he's happy with it. Soaked up Schmidtberger's attacks. And uh, it back with a bit of interest. Don't you? Uh, uh, Fen Pan Feng's backhand may not be quite as easy on the eye as uh, Schmidberger's, but it's equally as effective. Oh, what a return. That was a fantastic point, wasn't it? Look how fast he had to react, because that was not a bad forehand from Schmidberger, but at the moment, everything he's throwing at the Chinese athlete is coming back. Oh. oh, this is such a high quality final. Great forehand. Look at that, Dan. And uh, not enough time really for Schmidberger to compose the reply. 
And he's certainly not used to being put under this kind of pressure in this tournament, is he? No, he breathes through the group stage. Saw the match against uh, Kraminger of Austria and he was not hanging around. A level two into the second game. Better from the man from Vitak. Looks so effortless and elegant when he plays those backhand returns. Coach off his feet. And I can see why. A little inside out. Here's the shot. Thank you very much. The backhand from the body. Inch perfect. Corner. Corner. Came back from Schmidberger with a lot of spin on it, swerving, but uh, Feng easily dealt with it. <laughs> this is like a heavyweight bout slugging it out at the table Go! caught the edge of the table nothing that Feng could do about it and now a bit of daylight between him and the Chinese athlete So, a chance to level things up. Three game points for the German. And he's done it. Well, he struggled early on in this game, but he's come roaring back. And that's a little bit of the confidence, Schmidberg, we saw earlier on in this competition. Not the best shot you'll ever see from Feng. And he knows it as well. And uh, this is shaping up to be a classic game apiece between these two in the gold medal match in class three One apiece. This is an enthralling gold medal match. It's long, just indicated as such from Schmidberger. Took the net and went long. Goodness me, this is a nip and tuck encounter.
That's what Feng can't allow Schmidberger to do. Give him a bit of room. Looks like it's going one way, and he flicks it across the table. What a great rally that was. Waiting their moment to just up the pace a bit. And all of a sudden, the shots are flying around the table. Brilliant to watch. Too hard for Schmidberger to deal with. Pulling it back. Back on level terms. <laughs> Critical that next few points. Who can forge their way to a 2-1 lead within touching distance of that gold medal? You can see the podium away to the right. Germany just ahead. Coach very excited. That was a great shot from Schmidberger right on the edge of the table. And he's getting closer. tight as this match how uh, tense is the atmosphere around table number one. Oh, and it's long it's long back on level terms well whoever wins the next point has a game point and <laughs> there's a few of Feng's supporters looking a little bit tense themselves to stretch well maneuver by Feng he gets the game points Schmidberger was trying his best to get to that ball couldn't quite make it count Feng reacting there as if he'd actually won the won the game Now 
he does. He leads by two games to one in this gold medal contest. He gets the next one. Well, he was behind 9-7 and hauled himself back. And that is a crucial part of this match. And psychologically, that's hard for Schmidberger. Right at the edge of the table into Feng, but the follow-up shot went wide. Always smiling, the German, whether he's doing well or not. He is, that's true. A bit more rueful that time, though. This is it, crucial fourth game here. Schmidtberger must win this to take it to a fifth, to be another chance of taking that gold medal. Oh, they're coming together as they deposited their towels, but all sorted. And a chance to wrap it up in the fourth for the Chinese athlete. Schmidtberger will look to come out really all guns blazing. Shot just out of reach of Feng. No sense. If we can rule nothing out, it's going to be another tight game this one. That's long. Well, we said it was going to be close, but all of a sudden there's a three point gap. I just wonder whether there might be a timeout sometime soon from the Chinese. I'm sure he'll wait a couple of points, see which way the wind's blowing. He really took his time before that last serve, didn't he? Oh, there's that backhand. We haven't seen a lot of it in this match. Feng's kept him under control, but just unleashed it there. Six points, he can take a towel break, and he will do just to slow things down a bit here. Oh, slice of luck for Fen Panfeng. That's what he can do at his best. I think just a spectator. Not managing to land it this time, though. Joan with the serve. Chance to extend his lead. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he's shaking his head. What a return from Feng. That's an excellent shot right on the edge of the table, and yet he stretched and just stroked it back. And he's 
hit it long. Excellent rally. Really good play from both his players. It looked like he hadn't put it wide enough, Schmidberger. But Feng couldn't make it count. And he trails by two. And then Schmidberger a taste of his own medicine. That's a great point. Desperate defence in a couple of times, and he's managed to win it. Brilliant. And that's a really good response as well. My, oh, my, what a game this is turning into. It's long, and they're level. Oh, yes. On their feet in the stands, and you can understand why. Watch this. One response from the backhand, even better on the forehand. Two points away from the gold medal. Can Schmidberger dig in here? Oh, he took a bit of the net. He got a slice of good luck. And he has two gold medal points. It's gone long. It's gone long and it's a third consecutive gold medal for Fen Pan Feng. What an incredible achievement at only 26 years of age. The crowd loving that. What a good display of table tennis from both these athletes. Schmidberger, well, he was uh, not able to show what he can do really because Feng, he made sure that he dictated it. He looks distraught, but he's 24 years of age. He's gone one better than the bronze in London. He looked brilliant throughout this tournament, but Feng, what, what a display. Ranked one place below Schmidberger, world rank number one against world rank number two. But that was just brilliant from the Chinese athlete. Schmidberger, but the celebration's just starting for Fen Pan Feng and his friends and family. He knows they're there, he could hear them throughout the uh, match. And there's confirmation gold medal then for Fen Pen, uh, Pan Feng of China and the silver for Thomas Schmidberger of Germany. <laughs> 